हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू दर फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ टेक विद टी जी नो ये एक ऐसा शो है और आई वुड से एक ऐसा टेक शो है जहाँ पे हम टेक्नोलॉजी की दुनिया के बारे में बात करते हैं और न सिर्फ बात करते हैं वी ऑलवेज डाइसेक्ट द टेक दैट वी ऑल हैव ऑल अराउंड अस और हम जानते हैं कि वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन द इन द रियल बैक एंड आखिर चीज़ें काम कैसे करती हैं हाउ इज द फ्यूचर गोइंग टू बी मतलब बेसिकली वी जस्ट पिक अ टॉपिक एंड फिर हम उस बाल की खाल निकालते हैं बिकॉज वी ऑल लव टेक्नोलॉजी वेल आई डू एंड आई एम श्योर यू डू एज वेल तो आज के इस एपिसोड में हम बात करने वाले हैं अबाउट ए आर एंड वी आर वो बड़े बड़े हेडसेट्स या वो स्लीक क्लासेज वट एग्जैक्टली इज द साइंस बिहाइंड दीज न्यू इमर्जिंग टर्म्स फ्यूचर कैसा होने वाला है इज इट जस्ट गोइंग टू बी एंटरटेनमेंट या फिर इसका कोई रियल वर्ल्ड यूज भी है एंड हाउ एग्जैक्टली इज द साइंस इट वर्क बिहाइंड दीज ए आर वी आर डिवाइस आज के एपिसोड में आपको सब कुछ पता चलने वाला है तो जल्दी से आगे बढ़ते हैं चलिए शुरू करते हैं इन टूडेज टेक इंडस्ट्री द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ए आर वी आर डिवाइस इट इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट मतलब ये स्टार्ट हुआ था बाय नो having those bulky headsets around us and us time pe it used to be like a science fiction thing ki matlab pata nahi ye future mein ho payega ya nahi ho payega but fast forward today if you look all around you all your brands like apple like meta like microsoft like samsung they are heavily investing in this domain because the future is is to blend everything all together it's it's not like just a big screen in front of your eyes yahan pe hum baat kar rahe hain about the spatial computing about integrating multiple sensors about uh, creating this gadget that blends in between you and your world मतलब यू नो लाइक द रियल वर्ल्ड अराउंड अस एंड टुडे इट हैज इवॉल्व क्वाइट अ लॉट तो सबसे पहले हम एक बार देखते हैं हाउ एग्जैक्टली द इवोल्यूशन हैज बीन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दीज ए आर वी आर हेडसेट्स और डिवाइसेस ऑगमेंटेड रियलिटी और ए आर और वर्चुअल रियलिटी यानी वी आर ने तरीके बदल दिए हैं जिसमें हम डिजिटल कंटेंट को एक्सपीरियंस करते हैं और इंटरेक्ट करते हैं इसका एवोल्यूशन नई टेक्नोलॉजीज नए यूज केसेस और बदलते कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर के साथ साथ हुआ है वी आर बिगैन इन द 1960s विद अर्ली हेड माउंटेड डिस्प्लेस विच शो केव द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इमर्सिव एक्सपीरियंसेस In the 1980s and 1990s, VR gaming and simulation technologies brought new innovations to various sectors. 1990s में AR का evolution हुआ, जिसमें digital information को real world environments में overlay किया गया. इस वजह से नए applications और experiences possible हो गए थे. With the advent of powerful processors, high-resolution displays, and advanced sensors, the AR/VR industry grew rapidly in the 2000s and 2010s. Innovations like mobile AR and more user-friendly VR headsets significantly expanded the reach of these technologies. Platforms like Oculus, HTC Vive, and ArcKit. ने इमर्सिव एक्सपीरियंसेस और एआर एप्लीकेशंस को पॉपुलर बनाया एडवांसमेंट्स इन हैप्टिक्स एंड स्पेशल कंप्यूटिंग ने एआर वीआर इंटरेक्शंस को और भी रियलिस्टिक बनाया एज एआर एंड वीआर एक्सपैंडेड रैपिडली चैलेंजेस रिलेटेड टू एक्सेसिबिलिटी कंटेंट क्रिएशन एंड एथिकल कंसिडरेशन ऑल्सो ग्रू टू एड्रेस दीज कंसर्न companies are focusing on developing more affordable devices creating compelling content and ensuring user privacy advancements in ai are crucial to making ar vr experiences more intuitive and personalized दोस्तों अभी हम समझ चुके हैं अबाउट द इवोल्यूशन लाइक हाउ इट ऑल बिगन एंड अभी आज की डेट में हाउ एग्जैक्टली इज द करंट ट्रेंड आई थिंक नाउ इट्स ऑब्वियस फॉर अस टू प्रोजेक्ट द लाइट टुवर्ड्स द फ्यूचर कि आखिर व्हाट टू एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम द नियर फ्यूचर क्या हमको अभी नई नई टेक्नोलॉजी देखने को मिल सकती है सब कुछ आपको मालूम चलेगा राइट आफ्टर द शॉर्ट ब्रेक
Hello everyone and welcome back after the break to your favorite show Tech with TG wherein I am your host my name is Gaurav aka TG and aaj ka jo episode hai yahan pe we are talking about the AR and VR headsets like how exactly uh, the the journey has been so far but abhi जो फ्यूचर में होने वाला है उसके बारे में बात करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है नाउ एज द मेटावर्स इज राइजिंग एज ऑल द टॉप टेक ब्रांड्स आर हैवीली इन्वेस्टिंग इन दिस स्पेस ऑफ ए आर वी आर हेडसेट्स इंडिया में इसका फ्यूचर क्या होगा इसके लिए लेट्स टॉक टू एन एक्सपर्ट टू लर्न मोर अबाउट वॉट टू एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम दीज हेडसेट्स इन द कमिंग फ्यूचर टू गेन इन साइट्स इन टू द फ्यूचर ऑफ ऑगमेंटेड रियालिटी और ए आर and virtual reality or vr technologies yeah. we talked to deepak malik uh, former coach training. of the indian the table tennis team, team and co-founder so of stupa sports analytics in this conversation we delve into how ar and vr are poised to revolutionize the landscape of sports analysis and viewer engagement the way uh, technology has gone uh, to the next level with the help of ar and vr now the players has started uh, doing training on the devices with the help of data so earlier data was lying there but nothing can be done only it's a long excel sheets and then uh, making notes uh, for the players but now with the help of uh, ar and vr uh, and with the help of ai so the players have started adopting their personalized uh, training plan with the uh, and even the coaches are getting uh, open especially in tennis in uh, in basketball in nba the ar has changed the the game uh, earlier it was played so this gives lot of personalized training data which gives lot of self belief self confidence because when we when you see yourself uh, in a virtual world doing the exact thing which which we which you were doing earlier in the field so earlier there was a disconnection between the reality and the and the concept but now ar and vr has uh, filled that gap because the data is real time data is from uh, themselves personalized and now they are training and they are seeing themselves uh, doing the exact thing which they did in the Uh, pass in the match and they are training themselves not only for their training plan even for their op- opponent because uh, with the help of ai the opponent data opponent team data is very easy to capture and they can again go back and check uh, quarterly performance and monthly performances which will uh, give them a edge over their opponent and this has been proven in many sports around the globe yes uh, Uh, the way uh, in a mixed reality if i talk about uh, if we can see the uh, uh, soccer how soccer has been evolved or if you take an example of uh, basketball so so next we are and uh, turner they have partner with nba and changed the way the basketball the nba has been played so so earlier they have used the technology only for the players but now the fans are able to watch in their home and they can experience with their glasses vr glasses the exact game and exact feeling even lot of sensors are also attached these days so which has given a real time uh, even a better than in in some cases better than real time and the mixed reality is coming uh, stronger and stronger it's and it's giving uh, goosebumps to the fans those who are uh, watching the games and it it is near to the uh, so like as experiencing if you are in a stadium and watching a cricket match or or a football match or a, or a basketball match and and then you are very near to the court so now because in big stadiums uh, tickets are not available uh, for the front row if or if they are then very very cost heavy uh, but with the help of mixed reality now the fans are also experiencing a lot of additional uh, uh, features which they are not able to use uh, in the uh, stadium haptic feedback uh, in a 
immersive experience plays a important role because if you if you see uh, these days lot of sticks are coming where you can genuinely play a cricket shot or or golf stick you can use that those uh, sticks as a golf stick or maybe a lawn tennis racket so that and the sensation and the the vibrations of those uh, joy sticks are very near to the real time so this gives more close uh, experience to the player or a fan so how a pro- professional player is doing in an arena either it's a lawn tennis or a table tennis or a golf or a cricket so this plays a important role and, and uh, a lot of excitement as well uh impact of uh, ar environment on digital versus real world is like uh, it's same like a, a usage of a mobile for the social media so uh, and as a human being we have to keep balancing uh, Uh, this thing because this is a very new technology and it's not available around the world uh, especially ar and vr although many things have come, come up but especially for the sports uh, because the data is very limited but this uh, has a significant uh, value this carries a very significant value uh, uh, with the ar environment you can train well you can uh, visualize, uh, visualize well you can predict what can come uh, if you put the same data into the system so you can play literally with your opponent so which is or a, or a team so but the only uh, my my personal point of view and my personal concern is uh, too much of dependency so that we have to make balance but otherwise uh, ar is uh, playing a very important role in uh, these days uh, as a digital interaction as well so gesture control uh, in ar interfaces are uh, playing a very uh, important role because there are many sports or or uh, and not only sports in a regular day where they uh, track the movement of our eyeballs and uh, and i was uh, reading one research paper there uh, the in in uh, obviously in the west that uh, for the truck drivers they have started using the ar technology to track their sleep cycle are they sleepy or not the similarly a player is for a player has a fatigue or not so with the help of ar technology you can train your subconscious mind you can train your brain so and uh, 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 with the real time uh, uh, scenarios by giving the real time scenarios if a player is in into the anxiety situation or a pressure situation how to deal with that because that gives lot of insight which is very difficult to uh, get from a bare eyes from the uh, data privacy i can say like uh, so the the most uh, important thing is the data manipulation of uh, any any person and uh, this is uh, this has to be taken care very well by the company who is uh, introducing that technology or implementing that and uh, so the uh, governance should be very strict uh, and the uh, all the uh, their data of the personal uh, uh, player or a coach or a fan should be kept in a in a manner so if they can access if they want to delete that data they can do that accessibility uh, accessibility or flexibility should be given to them this technology is very new for the real time uh, solution so although there are so many games in e sports and and the regular games in golf and cricket and lawn tennis where ar and vr is getting used but जब हम बात करते हैं एक लाइव टूर्नामेंट की क्रिएटिंग द सेम एनवायरनमेंट इनटू अ मेटावर्स इनटू अ वर्चुअल वर्ल्ड एंड देन गिविंग दैट फैन एक्सपीरियंस इट हैज ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड हैपनिंग इन देयर देयर आर फ्यू कंपनीज दोस हु आर वर्किंग इन 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 दिस एरिया एंड ऑल्दो राइट नाउ दे आर गुड गिविंग डिसेंट एक्सपीरियंस आई वुड से बट अ लॉट टू बी डन बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ एरिया व्हिच इज लेस एक्सप्लोर्ड पीपल हैव जस्ट स्टार्टिंग started stepping into it but a lot can be done even better uh, by the from the real time yes obviously you can you can't match the excitement you can't match the emotions uh, going into a stadium as a real time but but i'm seeing where i'm seeing uh, with the help of ar and vr 
the viewing experience for a, a big tournament like IPL or or, or in European Championship League uh, in, in soccer or maybe NBA it's it's changing faster and faster so you are sitting uh, in your comfortable zone at your home or uh, wherever and you genuinely experience uh, the sensations like the sensors and all those kind of things the feelings so uh, I think long way to go and it, this is going to be the game changer for the fan experience uh, when this will be fully uh, accepted and developed uh, by the community. Now guys, as you have seen uh, so far, ki jo AR, VR headsets ki puri dunia hai, it is not just limited towards entertainment. I mean, entertainment happens to be one important domain, but overall, you talk about uh, medical sciences, you talk about remote computing, you talk about spatial computing. I think the future is really exciting for all of us to experience and enjoy these wearables, uh, a new kind of wearables beyond our wrists, where we have a chashma pehna hai and uh, you know we are doing multiple things we are computing while on the move while things are blending in between our real world all together i think the future is going to be really exciting are you excited about this well let me know aap apna email mujhe bhej sakte hain at tg@ndtv.com drop in all your messages maybe ideas for new episodes or if you have any questions and i'm going to see you all next week abhi ke liye itna hi take care and have a good day 